Hello everyone, welcome to the Cloud Network. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to install your Debian. And this is the latest version of this Debian came. This is GC. So I am going to install in this Debian 8 in VirtualBox. So first of all, you need to have minimum requirement is 1 GB processor or Duco processor is enough for the installation. And at least you need to have a minimum 5 to 12 MB of RAM, or else you can have 1 GB also RAM to install in this and 2 GB you need to have this space minimum and maximum you need to have 10 GB of have this space you need to have free and the graphic card and display card at least you need to have from 1.0 to 1.76 and then you can install this DVD or USB port for the installation both you need to make you bootable for this installations and last one is internet so let us begin with this installation so first of all I am going to show you just Just open it all up. Your virtual box. You can see this is virtual of virtual box, and here you can see the latest version is 4.3.28. This one is here to download for this Windows supported. For this for Linux supported, and this for OX that is Mac OS supported for the Solaris. So here you can see both 64 and 32 bits are here is there, and you can find this virtual box installation in my uh, CloudNet channel. So and uh, for the Debian people, so here you can see one and type the Debian in download, click in Debian 8, and when you open the link, this is a website of your Debian where you need to scroll down and you can find this installation. So you can see this is here, this is 32 bit supported people, and this one is here, 64 bits people supported. Click and download here, uh, I use it will come 64 bit people, and processor supported. And this people can download here this one. In the US, where you can download, so this are the other countries supported where you can download. Screen you can see already downloaded. So the size is almost 3.7 GB is the size of download. I have downloaded this from the torrent. You can download this also from the torrent. Um, so this is my virtual box. Click to new. I'm going to type here Debian. Eight. You need to select your version which you have downloaded 32 bit or 64 bit. You need to click on this. You need to assign the RAM as a maximum point. So please do not go to this uh, red point. You need to stay at the green point only. And then click on next. And then click create. Then next. Then next. Then you need to assign the hard disk search. This installation. Uh, so I am giving at least here. 35 GB for the installation. And this is the location where it is going to store in my system, system desktop or laptop. This is the one. So after click on settings and then you need to click on systems, open and then go to processor, enable the AP AX HNX, and check your aspiration data check, storage, click on empty small CD icon where you need to select the ISO image where you have downloaded. This one is my ISO image which I have downloaded. Assign your bridge adapter. Select your internet. This one and go to advanced. Check everything is okay by default. Click OK. Click to start now. This is you can see this is here install and this is for graphical installation and this is for the text board install that means it's going to be installed in a text mode and this one is going to install in a graphical installation and this one is your uh, advanced option where you can set uh, where you can find everything about row setting resetting root password forgotten and other recovery is their option you can find and this is all installed with uh, synthetic that means it's going to be installed with uh, speech also uh, something will be read on everything command so I'm going to install with the graphic here so I'm going to press enter here by selecting the option you need to press enter if you want to more option you can press type and get, uh, find the more options so now you can see on your screen you need language so my language has been selected if you want to different language you need to select your language 
will click that link and here is the location which are where and that belongs to and belongs to India country is my country so I select out my country India but if it belongs to different country you need to select your country and then click on that link and this is a keyboard configuration language so this American language is the default of that that means you can have a British English also select your country now so now it's got detecting the hardware configuration scanning the study rooms loading the additional components so now you can see it is attempting to configure IP address also automatic so you can see this is needed configuring DHCP so on the screen you need to give a uh, please enter the host name that means so by default the DB I want to give it so okay you can enter here you can change the name also click to continue and so here you need to give a domain uh, if we have any domain name like I am giving the domain name debut of the site name and the new cloud so you can also uh, skip this here uh, also if you don't have any domain name click to continue you need to set the password for the root here so please remember that this is the password I am setting is for the root and I repeat the same password I am giving you with password to give a strong password by mixing the letters, numbers and password. Later also you can set that you need to remain the password please give it some user, new username. So I am giving full username that is cloud network. So click to continue. Okay. And this account is also I am giving cloud network. Then next and this is the password I am giving for the cloud network. And taking the same password for the user which Given the cloud network name. Click to continue. So now it's presenting the cloud mm. and detecting everything. Now the final step, the main important part which you have the hard disk, hard disk CDs. So here is you you can go for this uh, uh, If you have a data in your hard disk, before uh, usually you need to take a backup of your data. Then you need to continue the insertion. So please remember when you initialing in your hard disk uh, this DPM, you need to take a back backup of data, whatever you have a data. Then you continue the installations. Then if you select this option, it will completely erase the data and go is going to be installed into this hard disk. This is you if you want to have uh, Android disk initial along with it is going to be initial from B and it's going to be encrypted along with the LLM. So you can select any three options or if you want to have something like this, you want to give manually partitions, so you can go ahead and give the manual partitions and automatically create the partitions for the three options. So you need to click on continue here. So this is the final showing 42 GB is this size which I've given. So you can click on confirm it. If you want to have something like this, you can go back and do the changes here. So it's showing this. Uh, selected partitions all the files in one public should be recommended for the end user and the second partitions so you can see so these are the first is the first one is shown so i'm going to select the first one is okay and it's going to be installed so you can see the two partition is created primary swap and is logical that means swap extension for so it is showing this about this configuration the root is given but you need to see if you want to go uh, change this and do the change partition is select this one and then you can go for this undo partition means you can re resize the partition so I'm going to selecting this final partition selecting the default and so you can see if you want to do the changes to this now now if you want to continue so you can go ahead yes I want to write like this okay continue here formatting the partitions I think in case some more times like 25 minutes or half an hour for the complete installation then back to this screen I will show you the welcome screens till then you can have a cup of so here the final software selection we came here so if you want to install along with GNOM, KFC, KD, CNOM whatever you want to have like web server, page server, SSH and you can see standard system utility you can check the box and you can continue with this installation requirements and quickly skipping this step because later on I, we can install this all the softwares otherwise if you check the box it will take more time to complete this installation here so i'm just unchecking this server we don't require right now so last two is okay and continue with the installation 
So now you can see on the screen, take half an hour more to complete the installation. The apps is installing your book folder. So just just for the continuing installing this loader. So you can go ahead with the installation. Uh, uh, this this one or click to continue. Now the final is showing the ins installation has been completed. We need to remove the CD or DVD now, pen drive, bootable, whatever you have inserted. So after removing it, so you need to continue click and then it's going to be restarted here. So now you can see after restarted, so we need to click on Debian or automatically it will be uh, started on a second again into the uh, Debian. You can see on the welcome screen, you came to the desktop here. Now, you can see this is your Debian final mode. Click on activity to find this your browser. This is your mail, and this is your time zone. This is your music player. This is your library files. This is your folder files and folder where you can find everything that you want to If you want to type this search on your find terminal here. So, Basically, see you can see this is a terminal. Just drag to this here, so you can drag and drop and close this one. So you can see that it is. And let's come to this last scrolling. So you can see here. This is your two types of uh, desktop here. Separate screen here. You can see this is your battery. This is internet connected, and this is your uh, sound design. And once you shut down, here is showing to shut down, and this one is to lock, and this one is your settings where you can find the, about your uh, DPM configurations, uh, everything tools, and to check here you will find. So you can see this is uh, all settings is there showing. Let's uh, see click on details. So you can see the Gmail 3.1 is showing. And, uh, so DBM is just saying this one is your 64 bits of it. Now I'm going to show you how to make this DBM a full screen. So in the questions, you have any doubts, you can comment below to my video. Please like my video and share my videos among friends and relatives. Helps to spread my channel. Please subscribe to IT Clotting channel. Thank you for watching my video.